for checking out. Check it out now. God damn, man. I've been fighting this fight for so long. But people, man, we got to get rid of stupid niggas. Stupid niggas got to go. Okay? Stupid niggas and the rest of the same community, we can't fuck with each other. Because stupid niggas is pushing a propaganda filled with stupidity, ignorance, and just believing fake news. Now, here's the thing. Okay? The other people that got to go. Because it's not only stupid niggas. Everybody, and, and by the way, this is a huge section of hip-hop. We have a lot of suburban kids and a lot of people who ain't gangster who actually work a nine to five. They look up to gangsters because they are living vicariously through gangsters, okay? You know, the square niggas love the niggas doing the real shit, okay? They ain't gonna bust the guns themselves. And by the way, that's not real shit, but they like gangsters, okay? Now, with these people liking these gangster images, they actually hype up these other guys to do dumb shit. And then even then, they don't understand the severity and they don't understand the real life shit behind what happens when shit goes to court or when shit gets real. Now, let me let me break it down to what I'm talking about. Tax Stone and Troy Average. Troy Average is a rapper, struggle rapper, that from New York. By the way, he's gotten better at rapping. But he had beef with a podcaster known Tax Stone. Okay, very popular podcaster. I believe it was on SoundCloud. Okay, they had some beef. They supposedly ran to each other at a motherfucking T.I. concert. And, of course, bring him out, bring him out. Guns came out. Niggas got shot. Okay? Unfortunately, one person died, which was Troy Av's bodyguard. But Troy Av got shot. A girl got shot. And niggas was seen on camera shooting their guns. Now, Troy Av got locked up at first, but eventually got bail. And then Tax Stone got locked up, and he's been denied bail. He can't get out. Now, here's the thing, and this is a current issue. His lawyer is trying to figure out, by the way, he got the same lawyer as Bobby Schmurd. I'm not sure if that's good or bad. But his lawyer is trying to figure out how the fuck do we get him out of jail? So you know what they did? His lawyer wrote a letter to the motherfucking judge. Now I got the letter. And by the way, this is where stupid niggas I'm talking to you. I didn't get the letter because, oh, he's the feds. Because, yo, niggas is stupid. Niggas love saying that. Yo, yo, how do you know we got arrested? You're the fed. No, motherfucker. It's called Google. But anyway, I got the letter that... Tax stone attorney wrote to the judge. However, a lot of people are reacting to Tax Stone's lawyer writing to the judge and calling it snitching. Now, Bossip did put out an article. They said, listen, exclusive. Tax stone the judge let me out of jail. Troy Av's a bad guy. Troy Av responded to that. He said, yo, new pop drops tomorrow, and I'm exposing all these motherfuckers slowly but surely. This the part they don't want you to see. Cheese breath. I said it before and I'll say it again. It's a handicap being a real one. It's like I'm fighting fire with a water bottle. I sat in jail and I didn't have to. Here go the message. Stop falling for the antics and morals of these frauds. All that shit they talk about in the hood don't matter. When they backs against the wall, they fold while dope boy Troy stands tall. Get your money. Take success. Be the flame that scorches every crab in a barrel. Real eyes realize. Free Troy Av. Listen to Dope Boy Troy Street album, blah, blah. He says he's also not fucking with BSB, ex-BSB members. Now, let me actually tell you what a lot of people are thinking. They're thinking Tax Stone told the judge, yo, he did it, he did it, he's shooting all type of niggas, which is Troy Av. Go lock him up, let me out. That's not what happened. Now, reading the actual document, and I said I got the motherfucking document here, his lawyer is trying to petition to get him out of jail, which means they're trying to get him a bail. So they wrote a letter to the judge saying, hey, judge, if Troy Ave, who is the other person in this case who has more serious charges, it seems, got bail, why can't my client get bail as well? Now, keep in mind that we do know uh, tr- uh, Tax Stone got federal charges, a little bit more serious. However, that's what he's saying. Why can't we get bail, right? Now, of course, there's some little dicey stuff in there, I guess, from the street perspective, they don't like it, in terms of saying, hey, listen, Troy Have and, like, his crew, they've been involved in other shootings. My client has never been involved in a shooting recently, so why can't he get bail? Now, based on that, right, people have deemed, and I see a lot of people on Twitter, on social media, on Instagram, they're saying, yo, that's snitching. Again, This is how stupid niggas would want you to do, right? And by the way, all these niggas who praise these gangsters but think that you don't try to get out of jail or you don't try to get your freedom if you feel like you're innocent or if you feel like you have a shot to get out. They want you to basically not even try to get out of jail. And what I mean not by pointing somebody out, 
But by at least asking the judge for a bail hearing, at least telling the judge like, hey, these are facts in, in, a, in a related case that you guys have given bail. Why can't we get bail? Stupid niggas will look past that to conveniently say snitching. This is why for all these gangster rappers and for anybody who chooses to be gangster, don't get hyped up by motherfucking suburban niggas who have a 9 to 5, right? Who then hype you up to be this gangster image and they want you and encourage the fucker you do. Because when you get locked up, they're going to call you a snitch. When you get locked up and you try to get out, they call you a fucking snitch, even though you're not snitching. But because of the rhetoric that you've probably given or disseminated that they have soaked in and liked. Because to them, it's watching a motherfucking gangster movie. But it's your real life. Now they're flipping around. I see the same motherfuckers who love Tax Stone. They're calling him a snitch, right? And I, it's, it was the same for Ta for uh, Troy Yap. When Troy Yap came out, he put out a statement after Tax Stone got arrested, and he said, "Listen, I'm glad we're getting closer to a justice, right?" Basically, we saw people call him Troy Yap a snitch. Here's the overall point. From my lens, none of these motherfuckers is snitching. They're trying to battle it out in court to make sure they don't go to jail for an extended period of time. Stupid niggas and niggas who idolize gangsterism without realizing that there's processes behind these crimes or whatever that happens. Y'all fuck up everything, okay? Y'all fuck it up. Because now, people call in tax stone a snitch. And I guarantee in two weeks, something will happen. They're going to call Troy Ave a snitch. Stupid niggas and people who idolize gangster shit but are not gangster. Trust me, the majority of the fans for anybody who is gangster is not gangster. So the fans ain't gangster themselves. They want you to be a gangster person that they could just kind of root for you. Think about it. Get in the comments, like them, subscribe to Bullshit Academics. I'm up.